This video is created by Jagrat Creation for you. Video is useful to the students who are ready, reading for inter -CI, IPC, IPCC. It is also useful to the students who are reading for Commerce Graduation BCom who has amalgamation of companies as a part of their syllabus of corporate accounting. The video is also useful to the students who are reading for professional courses like CS Executive ICWA who has amalgamation of companies this as a part of their syllabus. I want to take one sum here before you. I want you to read first of all. Then I'll explain and solve here before you. Let us start. Read the sum carefully. Or you can pause the video and read it. Let us start. Sukh Limited, Sagar Limited carry on business of a similar nature and it agreed that they should amalgamate and form a new company, Param Sukh Limited. The position of the two companies is as follows. You are given the details of fixed assets and stock, share capital each of 100 rupees 100. Profit and loss account debenture bills payable. The average profit of Souk and Sagar Limited have been 15,000 and 10,000 respectively. The new company agrees to take over both the companies for Rs. 1,95,000. So here the purchase consideration given to you in the sum is a combined one. You are not given a specific purchase price of Souk Limited. You are not given a specific purchase price for Sagar Limited. But you are given the purchase price combined. That is 1,95,000. And in addition to discharge all liabilities and to pay 15,000 in cash by taking overdraft from the bank. So, to take up both the companies for rupees 1,50,000 and in addition to discharge the liabilities to 15,000 in cash by taking overdraft and the remaining purchase price shall be paid in fully paid up shares. So, combined purchase consideration is given. That's an important point of this sum. It was agreed that the profit on conversion was to be divided between the shareholders of Sukh Limited and Sagar Limited in the proportion as the profit previously earned by them. Profit previously earned by them is 15,000 and 10,000. So, the profit on conversion will be distributed between Sukh and Sagar in the ratio of 15 is to 10, that is 3 is to 2. The above cash of 15,000 was to be divided between them according to their purchase price. So 15,000 paid will be divided in the proportion of purchase price. Write the opening entries in the books of Param Sukh Limited and prepare its balance sheet. Now this is a sum, though simple but important point that you are given the combined purchase consideration. So we are required to find out the payment on the basis of information given to us in the sum. Let us start now. Here I am going to write down what is purchased. Uh, net assets, assets minus liabilities that I am going to write down here. Here I am going to write down the payment made there against. This is the style with which I prepare our working note for the purpose of writing journal, entry and journal entries and preparing balance sheet. Now this is the part of the sum. Now the peculiarity of this video is that you are not required to keep the textbooks in your hand and read the sum in your textbook and solve the sum on the screen. Not like that. You will find the sum itself on the screen and this is the sum details which will be considered for solving the sum. So I will bring the details of sum as and when required and solve the sum from that. So you can focus totally on the screen for the purpose of learning. Now this is the balance sheet given to me in the sum. This is the assets, fixed assets are purchased. Stock is also purchased because it's an amalgamation. Debentures, 
bills payable, all the assets and liabilities are purchased. Now, what are the net assets then? These are the net assets. Assets minus liabilities, we get the net assets. Now, profit on transfer of this net asset will be identified as goodwill in the books of purchaser. So, these are the net assets purchased. Now, I want to find out the company agreed to take over both the companies for 195000 So, net assets of Suk Limited and Sagar Limited are purchased for a purchase, total purchase price of 195000 That's an important point. Now, net assets of Suk Limited, net assets of Sagar Limited, total of these two is 175000 so profit on combined profit on transfer of net asset is 195,000 minus 175,000 that is 20,000. Now this 20,000 is known as goodwill for the purchaser. It's a gain for the vendor. Goodwill or profit on conversion is to be distributed among Sook and Sagar in the profit sharing ratio. The profit sharing profit ratio is 15 is to 10. 15 is to 10 means 3 by 2. So 20,000 is distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So 3 fifths and 2 fifths. So 12,000 is the share of profit of Suk Limited. 8,000 is the share of Sagar Limited. But this is a payment of for purchaser Suk Sagar. So this will be treated as goodwill for the purchaser. So for purchaser it is goodwill. For vendor it is profit on conversion. So this is how the profit on conversion or the goodwill gets distributed between Sukh and Saga. Now I write this goodwill purchased in my statement to find out the purchase price for both the companies. So this is the purchase price of Sukh Limited. How the payment is to be made? That is also prescribing the sum. So after finding out these things, let me find out the details of let me work out the details for payment. So this is the purchase price that is to be paid. How the payment is made that we shall work out. The above cash means 15,000. Was to be divided between according to their purchase price. Now what is the ratio of their purchase price? 178,000 is to 78,000. So this ratio if you work it out that works out to be 3 is to 2. Uh, 39 2 sa, 39 3 sa. 3 is to 2. Now in this ratio, cash paid will be distributed. So 3 by 5 into 15,000. 9,000 will be paid to Sook Limited. 15,000 into 2 by 5 will be paid to Sagar Limited. So this is the cash paid. So out of this total purchase price, this is the cash payment. Balance paid in equity shares. So what is the amount of equity shares paid? 117000 minus 9000 118000 and 78000 minus 6000 these are the equity shares given so this is how the equity share paid for the purchase of business is being worked out on the basis of information given to me now if you are right for all this information then it is very simple to write down the journal entry and prepare the balance sheet. It is quite simple. But this was an important point. That's why this take, this sum is selected and solved here before you. Now, I want to write down the journal entries in the books of Paramsuk Limited. Business purchase account debit 1,17,002. Liquidator of Suk Limited account credit. What is purchased in business? This, all these net assets are purchased in business, so we are required to write down the journal entry for that. Fixed assets account debit, stock account debit, because it is purchased debit what comes in. Goodwill account debit, two, debenture account credit, two bills payable, two business purchase. This is how journal entry get recorded for purchase of business. Being assets and liabilities purchased and amount net assets credited to business purchase account. That's a narration. Now we have to make a payment to the liquidator of Sook Limited. Liquidator of Sook Limited account debit to equity share capital to cash account or bank account. This is how the, being the amount paid to the liquidator of Sook Limited. Now I want to write down the entry for purchase of Sagar Limited. So business purchase account debit 
to liquidate of Sagar Limited account credit 78,000. What is being purchased? Debt assets, fixed assets account debit, stock account debit, goodwill account debit, bills payable account credit to business purchase account credit. Now I want to make the payment to the liquidator of Sagar Limited, liquidator of Sagar Limited account debit, to equity share capital account credit, to cash account credit. This is how the payment made. Payment made to the liquidator of Sagar Limited gets recorded. One more entry that I should have written, debenture of 40,000, debenture of Sukh Limited account debit to debenture of Param Sukh Limited account credit, that's the entry that you can write. But here I have omitted it. But you should write in the examination. Now, after writing this at journal entries, I want to prepare the balance sheet as per Schedule 3, notes on accounts. So these are the various titles for notes on accounts, shareholders fund. Now, fixed assets will go in tangible assets, non-current assets, stock inventories, equity share capital, cash paid will appear as bank overdraft, debentures, there should not be 10% debentures. Now, These are the titles for the purpose of preparing balance sheet. So, these are the notes on accounts. These totals are to be recorded here in this balance sheet. Equity share capital, debentures, long term borrowings, trade payables, bills payable, bank overdraft, short term borrowings, fixed assets. Intangible assets, goodwill, stock. Here instead of fixed assets, intangible assets, tangible assets. But it's okay. Now, this is the total of balance sheet. This is how the balance sheet gets prepared. I feel that you have followed this sum. Thanks to all of you.